Hey guys, it's Mike again from Deluxe Talent Acquisition. Today I want to take a little bit of time to talk to you about some best practices for a very important part of the job search, which is the interview process. I'll go over some questions that you may be asked in a job interview, some good responses for those questions that you might get asked, um, some good follow-up questions that always should be asked in an interview, and also just kind of some general tips on the whole interview process. So in any job interview that you ever get called in for, you're very likely to be asked the question why you're a good fit for the role. So in response to this question, you're going to really want to get specific into the experiences that you've had in past positions as it relates to the requirements for the position that you're interviewing for. This can mean uh, milestones or different goals that you've met. So for instance, if it's a sales position, you can talk about goals that you have had set in a, a previous quarter or a previous year and then talk about the actual dollar amount that you sold to either meet or exceed those goals and really tying it in with the requirements for the job is key here. So that can be applicable to across any different number of industries. It doesn't just have to be sales. Just always make sure to bring up your past experience as it relates to the job requirements. So another question that you could very likely get asked in a job interview is going to be centered more around critical thinking and problem solving. One easy way to remember good responses to these type of questions are with what's called the STAR technique. First and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to identify the situation, which is really just setting the context for your story. From there, you're gonna move on to the task, which is what's required of you, followed by the action, which is what you actually did to address the situation, and then finally the results, which is how everything played out. And again, when providing answers using the STAR technique, it's still so important just to remember to stay as specific as possible um, stay away from speaking in, in general terms. So you're really going to want to outline specifically what it was you do and bring up applicable metrics or, or again milestones or, or goals that you may have achieved while completing your actions that led to the ultimate results. So moving on, now I'll talk a little bit about some follow-up questions that you can ask near the conclusion of your interview. And one question to, to keep in mind is to really ask about what constitutes success in the position at the company that you're applying to. Not only is it going to show the interviewer, your interest to be successful in the role. It's also going to hopefully give you an idea of what it will take to, to move up. Um, at the same time, it's also going to give you a better idea as to whether or not you're going to be a good fit with the company in the position. And another good question to ask is to really ask the interviewer about new products or services that may be on the horizon for the company or even what the plans are for future growth. This is really going to show your interest level in the position as well as the research that you've done and in turn just the overall commitment that you have to the role. And finally, the last question that you should definitely ask in any interview that you're ever in is what are the next steps in the process? This is going to show your interest in the role and it's going to open up the interviewer to maybe share with you how many candidates are in the running for the position. So again, absolutely ask this question at the conclusion of any interview that you're in. And finally, for the last segment, I'm going to talk a bit about just some tips to try to adhere to during an interview. Um, obviously, you're going to want to dress for the role. Usually, the interviewer is going to give you a notice ahead of time as to what it is they're looking for in, in um, attire and dressing for the interview. It's typically between business casual and business professional. Just be cognizant of that and absolutely adhere to, to what they recommend. Beyond that, you're also going to want to take some other steps to maintain the appearance of professionalism. Um, you're, you're definitely going to want to bring multiple copies of your resume. It doesn't hurt to have a, a binder to keep everything organized. And during the interview process, just absolutely maintain eye contact. Um, don't be afraid to take notes that, that shows interest in, in the role. And be yourself. Stay specific. Bring up milestones like we talked about before, different metrics and goals that you've met. Just remember to relax and be yourself. Speak clearly. Just keep these tactics in mind and you really should put yourself in a good position to land the job that you're applying for. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you next time.